Well, starting out your grow weather this week with the weekly drought monitor and the drought situation has actually increased again this week in Kansas. Severe up to 80.83% extreme over half of the state of Kansas under an extreme drought. In Nebraska, though, four and a third percent extreme, severe 30.83%. So there is actually an improvement in Nebraska. Of course, we have the rain and even the snow up in the northern part of the state and still looking at a no drought situation in a big share of Nebraska's panhandle. So that's always good news there. Soil temperatures are heating way up 70 to 75 degrees in a portion of southeast Nebraska into northeast Kansas and extreme northeast and eastern Kansas 70 to 75 and the biggest area of the region 65 to 70 degree soil temps four inches from the surface 60 to 65 in a big swath to northeast north central Nebraska southwest Nebraska northwest Kansas part of the panhandle the coldest spot in the extreme northwest 50 to 55 degrees soil temps we won't be showing this soil temp map that much longer as most of the crops will soon be in the ground. We look at temperature wise six to 10 days out below average expected across Nebraska and Kansas. That fits in what we're looking at in the short term above average on the west coast and temperature wise below average to the north for the next month ahead. Equal chances across Nebraska above average temperatures over the southern half of Kansas. 90 days out then equal chances Nebraska the bottom third southern third of Kansas above average temperature wise during these next three months ahead and as far as precipitation is concerned six to ten days out below average as far as precipitation chances are concerned in the week ahead and that is probably close to what we're looking at as well and then above average in the New England states and into the mid-Atlantic equal chances in just a slim margin across the country. The month ahead precipitation wise it looks like above normal across Nebraska and the eastern northeast north central part of Kansas. We hope that is indeed true for 90 days though near average equal chances of that precip for Kansas and also for Nebraska. Well, normal temperatures this time of year and the week ahead should be about 70 for daytime highs and 47 for overnight lows. We're going below that this week. A little cooler week ahead of us. 64 should be the average daytime high with around 44 for the overnight lows. If the sun set with very red sky in the east, expect wind. In the southeast, expect rain. And that's the proverb for the Almanac this week. That is a look at your grow weather. You sent some pictures to us. Here they are. If you've got pictures to share, we'd love to see them. Log on to our Facebook or Twitter pages or email us at grow at Nebraska.tv. Let's check in now at what's going on with uh, your market stocks or prices here, especially when it comes to corn. And thank you so much for coming in here again for us. Now explain, first of all, um, the corn. What's really impacting the corn market right you now? Know, and it's, it's amazing over the time we've been talking how much that market has changed. You know, mm -hmm. we were looking for at the beginning of the year the prices actually to go lower. And, and really it comes back to three things that's given us strength speculative demand, mm -hmm. tighter grain stocks, and actually a little bit slower planting pace this year. So let's talk a little bit about this, the speculation there when it comes to corn. Why, why is there this interest in buying? Yeah, and that's been the big interesting factor out there is at the beginning of the year on the speculators, they're just looking to make money. They're trying to jump on a trend and they jumped on that trend really early. They actually got a jump ahead of everybody else this year. They started buying right around the first of the year. And really what happened is that as the market continued to go ahead and move higher, they continued to buy more. And what's really hard to believe is that they actually hold as much corn as what they would have held back in the drought of 2012. 
Wow. That's a lot of bushels. Yeah. Totally different conditions though. That, that is true too. So what's causing the tighter stocks? Yeah, and that's the big thing right now is uh, as we go back and look at the research, it really all comes back to export demand, which is kind of a surprise, but I guess it shouldn't surprise us a lot. Prices got cheap enough that actually the world buyers said, you know what, this is a good deal and the U.S. Yeah. has quite a bit of it. The other thing is we look at that research, we're up about 300 million bushels since the beginning of the year. That's a record. That's the most that the, re the exports have changed going all the way back to 1974. Few world changes have caused that. Um, Brazil decided not to ship out as much corn while they were sending out soybeans. Argentina has held on to a little bit more of their corn because of their problems with inflation and their devaluing currency. So those factors have came together to really help tighten up our stocks. So let's talk a little bit about planting progress here. How, how's that going in areas that you've seen and have looked at? Yeah, when I hear you talk about snow, it doesn't make me feel no, very right? good. At least that was in the panhandle anyway. I know. <laughs> the planting progress is picking up. It started off slow um, in the, some of the northern areas. If you take North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan, those areas are going along very slow. But nationally, we're picking up pace. Last week, it was about 29% planted. This week it looks like we're going to get all the way up to 60%. Now what's important about that is that as we look ahead to that 60% number, that's actually only 5% off of what the average pace is. So we're picking up pace very quickly here. Modern farmers rely on technology in so many different ways. So how important is the nation's broadband when it comes to rural America? We'll talk about that after the break.